Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Line Plays. Oh, what is this? Continue? Don't tell me I didn't quit the last run before. Or is this... Was this? This might have been my last run. I don't know. Yeah, this looks familiar. Uh, I guess I'm an idiot and I neglected to finish this in time. Do we at least know where the boss is? It was down in the bottom right, right? Oh my lord. The one time in my life I have a genuine time constraint on an episode and I go just when I thought you couldn't get any stupider go and do something like this and totally redeem yourself I didn't really redeem myself it just made it much much worse I don't even I don't I remember nothing about this run at all oh my god okay don't cause this to be a loss that would just be embarrassing it's only gonna take like another like two minutes to to do this we don't need to get too out of control with the hyperbolic oh woe is me we're gonna die type nonsense we're probably gonna live here. I mean, we definitely have done it before. It's, it's clearly plausible. Probably should not be getting hit three times on the same room, but that's why we have the relic. That's why we have Holy Mantle, if I remember correctly. I do remember picking up Infamy. That's a nice uh, get as well. Probably not worth using uh, the active effect here, but what's done is done. These guys have got to be getting close. You'd think I would stop making that mistake. Um... I honestly, you know, it, it happens the most when I'm doing, like, a lot of videos in one day. And then I finish one, and I'm like, alright, time to get on to the next one. And, uh, unfortunately, that was not the right way to handle that situation at all. But we did pick up another Spirit Heart. We got, um, Mr. Mega Bombs now. Not really a sizable pickup for us, but it, it's something. It's better than nothing. One peep is dead. We're taking way more damage than I should be taking. This, will, this happens a lot. You get, like, out of the, the mojo for a run. You forget what you were actually, like, doing. What kind of uh, attributes and upgrades you had. And then all of a sudden, you're like, oh, okay. I don't, I don't remember anything about this one at all. I do remember doing this room. Thank you, Infamy. Always gotta thank your Infamies for their support. I also vaguely recall recording and being like, man... We really should not have picked up technology. And then, of course, as soon as it shows up on this one, I'm like, Technology again? Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I already did, actually. Just fulfilling the prophecy as it was fulfilled by my forefathers uh, and my foremothers before me. Uh, right. We got this, and then we were like, oh, I, don't, I don't think this does anything, but we'll take it anyway. That's okay. I don't really care who we kill uh, first here. It would be nice to get the Spirit Heart, but it's also much faster to kill Famine and get that uh, kind of damage off the screen. Mr. Mega still quite potent. Still got seven bombs, can't do anything with that. Um, triple Mega Fatty, I do remember this room as well. I did not see that coming. A little one of those, probably not going to do too much, but... I think that does allow our Revenge Fly to maybe deal a little bit of damage as it kind of like lags behind our speed and tries to catch up. Not totally sure. We've got, I think, Skinny Odd Mushroom for this room, which is not a bad thing, but, you know, it's no magic mush. Appreciate the relic drop there. Our secret room contains money, which is useless, and our boss room is right here. Okay, so we are going to finish this, and it's not going to be um, a colossal drain on my, on my confidence at the very least. We're going to finish this with a win, presumably. Get those Mr. Mega Bombs in there. Oh, we got some invincibility, of course. Did I get HP on this run last time? Because I was I thought I didn't have permanent Polaroid invincibility, and as I was doing this fight, I was like, oh, we're getting pretty close to death. Maybe I shouldn't just tank it, but anyway, that's done. Hey, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. No, I'm being sarcastic, obviously. Okay, now that we've beaten that run for the second time, let's try to knock out another Eden run. It's coffee time. Hmm. Kamikaze. And blue map, or sorry, blue cap. VV3Z8PS6. Um, we're sluggish. Our speed stat is slow, but also, of course, our, our shot speed stat it just eats shit as a result of this. Um, we have an interesting assortment of items. Let's be real about that. It's not good right off the bat, but there's a chance for it to be good. I do like blue cap as an item. By itself, it's... it's um, Maybe cutting off the nose to spite the face a little bit. Like, it's it's a tears upgrade, which you want slash need on most runs to feel confident. Uh, and, and inevitably, or eventually at least, succeed. 
But uh, the the shot speed downgrade is is an issue when our range sucks. Uh, Kamikaze is bad, except in this one unique situation, it also gives us the ability to teleport. But I'm trying to think of a world where I would want to press the space bar, lose a half spirit heart, and teleport instead of just, you know, doing whatever the room is. The worst case scenario room for us. Pretty flies great here. Okay, that's Mongo Baby's alright. The worst case scenario for us uh, for a room is basically a curse room where we walk in and we want to teleport out, but we don't want to teleport out at a cost of uh, half of a spirit heart to ourselves because that's what we're paying anyway. We don't get any advantage out of doing that. Not the secret room. I was really hoping against hope that would work out there. Of course, we could just use it for... Uh, I almost thought we wouldn't get hit there. We could use it for stuff like this, just getting that pill, but is that worth it? I don't think so. We can't even really use it against bosses. Um, but we're going to hold on to both of these anyway. You might be saying, well, why don't you just get rid of um, the broken remote then, and maybe you'll find a use for it. You might be right, but uh, I kind of like the idea... Of course, we're pretty much just waiting on... Uh, Pyromaniac to show up, but uh, if Pyromaniac does show up, we have like unlimited health and unlimited teleports. Unfortunately, we're, it, like, we'd probably just rather have the extra damage from Kamikaze in that situation. I think we might have encountered one of those synergies in Isaac, and they're not necessarily rare, but we might have encountered one of those synergies in Isaac that is just like, this is interesting, but ultimately terrible. And, uh, oh, we made managed to get out of the way of that one, and... Torn Photo is a really good pickup for us here. We'll just head down to the next floor. We still have some protection for a deal with the devil. But we'll try to make this work again. I am happy about the fact that there is a blood bank here. We can use that. I don't want to do it just yet because we don't have too much protection. Uh, but if we do in the future, I'll be interested. Or if we get Pyromaniac, I'll be, I'll be over the moon. Like, what we could do is go into the boss trap room there and then teleport out with Kamikaze, but it hurts us to teleport out. Wouldn't we rather just fight if that's the case? I'd rather teleport out, but if teleporting out is going to cost us HP, then it seems like that's a suboptimal choice for us. Now, we may be able to get into this curse, or sorry, this uh, item room. Lots of consumables dropping, but sadly not quite the exact archetypical ones I need. Archetypal? Archetypical just sounds cooler. Now, if we can just... We can maybe gamble for a key. That makes sense. We do have an arcade. I rarely do that, but rarely do we find ourselves bereft of key on first floor. I don't know why I turned into William Shakespeare there, but that's okay. Um, let's go check our item room before the shop. Crystal Ball. It's substantially better than... Uh, so yeah, it's, it, let's just be honest. It's substantially better than Kamikaze all the time. But especially in this situation. Unless we get Pyromaniac, Pyromaniac at which point I'll be like, Well, it would have been nice if we could have made that happen. Uh, but now, what I'm going to do, and it's going to be a touch risky, but now we can come in here and actually get the benefit out of this. Like, open this, see the pill, teleport out. Of course, there's going to be some consumable. It's a spirit heart, which is very common. Take the pill. It's an am amnesia pill. Not that bad. It's a very short floor, and we know where the secret room is. It's up at the very top, uh, between the arcade and the other room on the other side of it. Um, so this is a, a really good situation for us to be in. With with uh, Crystal Ball now. Our damage is pretty good because of the two DPS upgrades. Blue Cap and uh, Torn Photo. Uh, we're going to have a deal with the Devil unless things go just immeasurably wrong. Which is possible. <laughs> it does happen. Uh, I could gamble and try to get something from the arcade. And by something, I mostly mean a key. But uh, if I'm being honest, I'd probably just rather head down to the next floor and hope to get one down there and you know shops are shops are shops the item rooms are a finite resource shops are a little bit of a different finite resource and that we rarely have money to buy something from each of them so one is kind of the same as the next it, it, you know it depends on the items inside of them of course but it's time to get death's touch this is a great pickup for us we'll head down to the next floor it's going well uh it looked very dangerous at times here but now it looks fine to be honest with you um yeah yeah it looks good let's uh Hope for some bombs down here. And moreover, let's hope for some stuff that allows us to keep our momentum. And, and by that, I basically mean... 
Pentagram, Book of Belial, although I don't know if I'd get rid of Crystal Ball for it. It would be a tougher choice, but um, Pentagram, Book of Belial, Goathead, obviously, Black Candle. Uh, anything that gives us an extra deal with the Devil Chance is... That's pretty much what I mean when I refer to a momentum-based item. Something that allows us to get better in the future. Doesn't just give us an immediate benefit, sometimes doesn't give us an immediate benefit at all, but gives us a long-term benefit uh, in terms of, you know, security and having a lot of... Oh, right, we teleport every time. Having a lot of opportunities to... Uh, Pick up really, really great items. But to be honest with you, Death Touch or Death's Touch is already a, a pretty amazing choice for us. I'd say we got very lucky that that was our. Uh, if we're gonna get a soul item in our deal with the devil, that's one of the better ones to get for sure. Especially synergizes well with uh, a high rate of fire, which we have going on here. It would be beneficial if we could up our shot speed and thus get a little bit more effective range. But apart from that, feeling real good. Uh, we don't have any keys, so we should. Ah, uh, you know what? Why don't we just fight the boss first? Like, we're coming this way anyway. If we're gonna have to backtrack, we might as well maybe get a speed upgrade first. We're not... Let's, basically what it comes down to is, are we going to need a, um... Are we gonna need our item room and or our shop to kill this boss? And if the answer is yes, then we've gone terribly wrong somewhere, considering the items we already have. Uh, and that's our second key, so it maybe even saves us a little backtracking to... Just push it all towards the end here. This is our champion version of Gertie, which is actually awesome for us because we have piercing shots. So, uh, as a result of that, not many of these champions are going to live long enough to do any damage to us. And we may, although it's a long shot, get a deal with the devil here. Should be plausible, at least. And, of course, we'll take out that nub last. Never know if that's going to give us magic mushroom. No deal with the devil, but we did get a speed upgrade. And a pretty fly as well. Don't we look... It's like our cute uh, little Halloween costume here from Goosebumps the Haunted Mask. Twinkle Tweed. It's pretty cute. You, you best agree with me, is all I'm saying on that one. If you don't think this is cute, we got, we're got we going to have words, my friend. Uh, let's go into our shop, because it's going to cost us two bombs instead of a key. Then we could actually go to our library, which oftentimes will pay for itself in terms of the, the value of the items they're in. Just from the consumables you get from them. Looking for mapping, uh, champion belts, luck upgrades, or less is now more, plus two extra keys is fine. I don't think we want red candle. I also don't think we need the spirit heart, to be honest with you. We're doing real well. We're outpacing the game by, by a large degree right now. I don't really want to teleport just yet. That's key. I, look, I don't, I don't put that much value on fighting Mega Satan, I'm sorry to say. It can be interesting, but at the same time, I don't think it's that big of a deal. Mega Satan, you know, it's just, we, we've done, somebody told me uh, that you had a boyfriend who looked like a girlfriend and I had in February of last year, but somebody also told me. Here's the deal. If we pick up the Bible and, oh, right, okay, never mind. Where did this Joker card come from as well? We might as well just use that right now, maybe we'll get a permanent ability to fly. We didn't, but we got the mark, which is great. Um... I've, I've fucked this one up royally. I think I've got to get rid of the... No, I shouldn't get rid of it yet. Because what I was thinking here, you're probably aware, but I was like, I'm going to... Maybe for five cents we could save a spear. I would just buy another one. Um, I could go in to our uh, room, grab the Bible, use it, and then pick up all the books. And then I get a spirit heart out of it, thanks to uh, Book of Revelations. But the sad truth of the matter, of course, is that that didn't really work out for me because of the fact that we... Um, Teleported as soon as we used it. So I wanted to do that just to see if we got something decent here. We got the chariots. And that is decent. I kind of mismanaged my uh, limited resources there, but that's okay. But somebody told me I've actually gone to um, the dark room less than I fought Mega Satan. So if I'm really going for variety, it's not a Mega Satan uh, run I should be doing. It's probably going to the, the dark room. But, I, you know, I have to choose that kind of at the time of conception here. Uh... When we get uh, the choice between the Polaroid and the negative. So we'll see what that looks like. And maybe I can be persuaded because I'm embarrassed by my lack of uh, aptitude at the dark room. Maybe I can be persuaded to go there. We'll see. Okay, Caves 2. This is not an appropriate room to be using the chariot, I think. Our damage, especially after picking up the mark, should be strong enough to take these guys out relatively easily. I don't think we're going to go to the curse room yet. Actually, the nun's habit would be an awesome pickup here. 
Now remember, we did use a Joker card on the last floor. We didn't earn a deal with the Devil, so our deal with the Devil odds, if I remember correctly, should actually be like um, 90 something, or not 90, sorry, 75% here. I had 98 degrees on the brain, the Lachey Bros. I think we'll use the Chariot on the Blood Bank. It's not the most uh, interesting play, but it does have the chance to give us HP, or at the very least, you know, it's just a cash uh, rebate here for the, the Chariot card, and we did pretty well on it. Could have also Chariot carded our way into the Curse Room. Use Mascara, I'll take. Shot speed is going to be so low now, but uh, I like having piercing shots that deal a lot of damage. And I think we'll teleport out of this room. With Mom's Key, I was kind of expecting a little bit more out of that, but... That's okay. And we'll come back in here. We've opened all the chests. We'll teleport out. Uh, we teleported into the curse room, which is actually great value as well. And hopefully we'll pick up, like, Cricket's Head here. That's not Cricket's Head, but it is an extraordinary amount of consumables. I can I can live with that. We now have Vision on our secret room. This run is... It's unusual. I mean, I don't think anybody would dispute that. It's an unusual run. It's going really well, or at least pretty well. I'm not worried about those three cents. It's like less than 10% of our net worth right now. I think Hanged Man will be, you know, actually, let's trade Hanged Man in for three cents. I was like, that's gonna be more important than the Empress. But what might be more important than either of them is being able to use both of them in conjunction with one another. Uh, and then we'll probably just try to get right into our, uh, our shop and uh, boss fight here. You know, the old shop and boss fight. We've all been there. I went to the original shop and boss fight in Frankfurt last year. The schnitzel was off the chain. I was gonna say, he better die... Oh, that's bad. He better die in two hits, because it takes us way too long to, uh, to shoot much more than that. I mean, we could use more tears upgrades, but I'm... To be honest with you, I'm just thankful we got the tears upgrades that we did. Two of hearts is not really worth too much for us here. Um, that would have been a much better use of the hanged man, probably, but, uh... I'm thankful we got the tears upgrades we did, so that Eve's Mascara is actually takeable. Now, is it a good take? I honestly don't know. I I err on the side of it being okay, but uh, you might disagree. Let's try these. Let's see what we got. The sun. Um, that's, let's be honest, that's probably more valuable than the Empress, so we'll try to use the Empress on our boss fight. And the lovers. Probably worthless, but maybe we get a dark bomb or something. This gives us a head start. I just want to get one more room of combat done, uh, so that I can actually use Crystal Ball once before the boss fight, maybe get a Spirit Heart that could fund to deal with the Devil, even though, if I'm being honest, I'm kind of expecting to fight Krampus. We don't need the Moon, because we've already used it. Or we've already been to the Secret Room, I should say, and then we'll, uh, just come down here. Still doing extremely well on time. Oh my god, now, left hands. I kind of feel like I, I owe it to myself to stick to the teleports here. And I'm just going to go fight the boss. It's it's not the proper way to be handling things. And also, I should have brought the Empress card in, which is made even more apparent by the fact that we're fighting a tanky enemy. But, um, yeah, yeah, a couple of misplays there. I'll own up to that, of course. It's pretty much 100% on me. A little bit of a uh, laissez-faire attitude coming back to bite me in the ass slightly. But it doesn't look like we're going to take damage here. And we got Squeezy, which means I won't be punished for my inability to get a Spirit Heart before this. Although it was red chess anyway. It turns out all of that fretting was for naught. Uh, we also picked up nothing of value, but it's alright. You want to take the sun card down to the next floor? Yeah, better than the moon. Better than the empress. Even better than the real thing. And I'm going to stick with the teleport because, again, I feel some sense of obligation as a result of the fact that... Uh, that we started with it, and I do think that there's some, yeah, we'll, we'll definitely open those, but I feel like there's some interesting stuff going on there. I don't know if it's actually good, I'm gonna err on the side right now of it being terrible. Uh, it's, even if it actually is functionally pretty good, it's just annoying to get your consumable, and then teleport away from it immediately and have to walk all the way back just to pick it up, and then you're like, oh, it's a hanged man card. Okay. Great. But, uh, that's okay. Missing page two, at the very least, takes missing page two out of our deal with the devil. Which makes it a lot easier to stomach uh, only getting one uh, demon heart as an item. Basically only paid a bomb for it, so it's not bad. Mom's Key continuing to make those extremely worthwhile. 77 cents. And we actually have bought an item from the shop, but it was Mom's Key, which explains why we just keep getting uh, 
more of it. More money. Uh, this is okay. It's okay. I was like, did I squander my bomb? No, I actually got infamy. We haven't been hit too much, but, uh... I will, uh... Or we haven't been hit too much by enemies. I've been hit a lot by spikes, unfortunately, but, uh... I'm I'm very content with the situation we find ourselves in here. And infamy as a as a defensive item, nothing wrong with that. A little bit not very flashy, but doesn't have to be flashy to get the job done. Super greed fight. Well, let's get a steam sale so we can just buy everything for the rest of the game. It's not the steam sale. We got so much time. Like we're we're way ahead of the curve. And we have a built-in teleport for boss rush. I haven't even mentioned that yet, because it literally just crossed my mind. But yeah, we can get into and out of boss rush for free. Well, not into. But we can get out of boss rush for free. That's not insignificant. That could end up being worth the entire cost of doing business with this uh, strange synergy here. Health upgrade? Yeah, nothing nothing wrong with that. Amnesia? Something very wrong with that. We'll teleport out. And we're close enough to go back in for our consumable. Which was a two of spades. Three extra keys? Nothing wrong with that. Uh, and now we can see everything. So I think... I have not a good use of a bomb, but I'm going to do it anyway. This will allow us to go to our curse room, and right now, uh, I was actually, disregard. I was going to say right now, our deal with the devil is going to be spirit hearts, because we don't have any red hearts, but I forgot, because it hadn't been relevant until that exact moment, that we actually had placenta, so. We, uh, did get a little lifesteal there, so if you get a deal with the devil, it'll be a red heart, but if I'm being honest, I'm probably expecting a Krampus fight sooner rather than later. We haven't had it yet. I don't really care about teleporting out of this room, because if I actually teleport out of this room, there will be a consumable left in here that I can't get. So we might be trading like half a spirit heart for a full spirit heart. We've teleported into the adversary fight. Whether or not I go back for that uh, consumable remains to be seen. I am not too salty to be on this room. We're, we've got to still go to our uh, item room, of course, but uh, we're going to make relatively short work of the adversary, considering that it's a, a pretty tanky, you know, mid-game-ish boss. We're going to be right on schedule for boss rush, and of course, with the synergies that I've got, yeah, we'll take it. With the synergies that I've got, I'd really like to do boss rush, just because of the novelty aspect of, uh... Oh. Just the novelty aspect of, uh, of having a built-in kind of teleport set up here. Uh, and we don't even need a teleport card. We got this sun card, which we could use on the next floor to actually tell us where the boss fight is, and thus get to boss rush with some more, uh, regularity. Okay. Quickly check our item room. It's mom's eye. I don't want to shoot the golden poop because why would we want to? We have 97 cents. We don't need counterfeit penny. We don't need money. We need basically nothing at all. So we'll head back down here. There is an arcade. Tell you what. Play the arcade a couple times. Use the sun card. See where we're going. I know crystal ball would have done the same thing. I just want to I want to get HP out of this basically if they're going to give it to me. But uh no, we're going to stick with the existing trinket we have because it's it's the theme of this run. Might be a little dissonant, but it's the theme. We could teleport out of boss rush. That's or boss trap, I should say. Thank you pretty flies by the way. Uh do we want to teleport out of boss trap? I honestly don't think we care because it's just a regular chest. So, I'm not going to prioritize that too much. Stars card um well, why don't we use our stars card to teleport out of the curse room? That way we haven't uh, left a consumable in there that we might want at some point. I'm very happy with the way this has worked out. We use our stars card. Uh, we get Spelunker's hat, which is pretty bad considering we already have the ability to very easily get vision on the entire floor. Like, multiple ways to get vision on the entire floor, but hey, you know... It's not bad, necessarily. Uh, I'm not going to use the crystal ball yet, even though we want as many consumables as possible. I also definitely want to make sure I have teleports remaining for the, uh, for boss rush. There could be a battery charge in our shop. But, uh, it's kind of like, yeah, maybe we gain a spirit art out of it, but in this situation, it's kind of a large risk for a, a decent reward. There is a battery charge, but, okay, tons of time, we'll buy the key, we'll buy this, um... I don't want to accidentally teleport oh, far away from this, just because it's going to be annoying. Pills. Puberty. Hematomesis is fine. Lock down. Lock up. Health up. Okay, this is well worth it. Excuse me, can you let me uh, pick up the heart, please? Thank you. And then we'll just wedge ourselves back here. Maybe by the time I leave Kate's office, 
and am able to record my own on my own computer like a, an adult again I uh, will have left her with a better donation machine than she started with perhaps all right boss fight against mom shouldn't be too difficult would love some extra damage upgrades that don't compromise our rate of fire maybe is what I'm looking for that was just terrible dodging on my part. Um, I, I would also love more Tears upgrades, but we do have Eve's Mascara. I think that retroactively uh, fucks up our Tears, so... Might not be that big of a deal. We'll take the Polaroid because I'm a little bit non-confident about where we are here. Um, we gotta take Spoonbender, no question about it. Literally, this is my, like, go-to... Hey, this is my boss rush item of choice here. So, I'm happy we got it. Uh, and I'll just walk on the spikes there in case you're interested. Um, I'm, I'm happy that it worked out the way it did. Now we can buy our battery charge and immediately get mapping and teleport on the next floor. And we might as well fight our mini boss. You never know. Super Wrath. So homing tiers, uh, it's not, this is not like the 100% best scenario to have homing tiers in. But with Death's Touch, it does always help. Picked up a lot of consumables there. Still plenty of time. Or like, let's put it this way. We're still doing real well in terms of our actual timing. Should get a deal with the devil on the next floor unless we royally fuck up. Which, I'll admit, on a run like this is actually completely plausible. Could have taken the cancer item as well. But I, I chose not to. I, I chose to take the homing tears. More effective tears over just more tears. Uh, I'm gonna... We're not really pursuing a guppy dream right now. Oh, Cricket's head. So good. So I'm just going to bum rush the boss fight. I'm not going to worry about going back for the card that we left behind. I'm just going to be happy we teleported uh, a decent distance away from our spawn room and more towards our, our boss fight. This floor is going to be over in no time flat. And the Cricket's Head pickup, it doesn't matter if we get a deal with the Devil now. It would be nice. <laughs> it would still be optimal. But um, that is paid for this floor, like, without a doubt. These, this Teratoma doesn't stand a chance. It's like the ideal enemy for us to fight um, in this situation. And... Told you a Krampus fight would happen. It wasn't when I predicted it, but it, it did happen. Lump of coal. Absolutely. I would love to see it. Alright. I don't think we have very much range, but uh, it is a benefit. It, it can't possibly be a detriment, I think. So we're just going to do one more room, and then we're going to teleport again, basically. And now, maybe this is just... It's the kind of synergy you just got to live long enough to actually see. Because right now, I'm like, this is not so bad. The ability to teleport and, and get mapping of the entire floor, um, it, it seems like it could be worse. I am going to sacrifice a spirit heart to go into our, our curse room, then we'll teleport out. Oh, we got a contract from below, which is great on the chest. And our, our luck stat probably is not very good, but um, maybe good enough to have it pay out effectively for us a couple of times. And you know what? That's this is pretty much it for the floor. We teleported into a very good situation. We know um, we know where we want to go and where we don't want to go. And where we want to go is pretty much directly to the boss fight. And there's enough rooms left to give us a pretty great head start. Well, maybe. Give us a pretty great head, head start towards um, having another charge for the uh, curse room. Yeah, we're only going to be a few away. Two away, I think. I'm starting to re I mean, this is also just the crystal ball in a nutshell in the late game. It's just a, a, such a great item, but... Um, in particular, Crystal Ball plus Doctor's Remote is that, or Broken Remote, sorry. Crystal Ball plus Doctor's Remote doesn't make any sense. But Crystal Ball plus Broken Remote is working out well. It's like a grilled cheese sandwich with some uh, tomato soup on the side. It's, it's a fantastic setup that's uh, really allowing us to speed through the back half of the game, which is not just good because I'm on a tight schedule, but is good because uh, we uh, will take less damage as a result of doing less rooms. Plus, if we fuck up our teleports a little bit, we uh, will most likely just end up uh, being able to pick up our consumable, which is oftentimes going to be a spirit art. That's the thing. If we ever want to start farming consumables instead of just uh, making great time and, and, you know, basically engaging in damage prevention, uh, we can um, we can just drop broken remote. Now, I'm going to have to do one kind of sausage room here. I think we'll do top sausage, which was my nickname in college, actually. Great stuff, okay. Keep walking back and around. And we're done, okay. Let's teleport. Now we can see where we're supposed to go, and we're right next to the boss fight. That's that's beautiful. Uh, I would, I'd really like to see this through to the chest. 
Whether or not we have the opportunity is going to depend on, basically, uh, the luck of the draw. It's going to depend on our teleport for, uh, for the final floor. And it's going to take us a little while to get to that as well. Um, so I think our secret room is here. I mean, I know it's in that position. I just needed to line it up properly. That's not very good for us. Oh, there is a tinted rock. Small rock would be amazing here. One spirit heart, also probably very valuable. And that's enough money to take us nearly to 99. Which doesn't matter unless we get money equals power, but still. Okay, Isaac fight. Great luck on the teleport so far. I'm thinking homing tears gives us a little bit more uh, range on our shots, but... Like, it just is getting close to the end of the effective range. It just kind of ekes out a little bit of a wider swell. It's good stuff. You know, we're, we're two-shotting the... Uh, the angel fetuses, which allows me to kind of keep crowd control uh, under control here, which is a very awkward sentence to say. Um, see if we can get like close to our maximum effective range because we do have lump of coal. But for the most part, this is a, a run or a build, if we want to put it in like a MOBA e context, that is much better at dealing with enemies or rooms full of like weak enemies than it is one room that has one really tanky enemy in it. But you know, that's that's where our speed comes in, our flies. Uh, infamy. We got a little bit of a, a nice setup for damage reduction, even when the shots actually managed to make it uh, roughly through to us, and hopefully we'll pick up some good stuff on the chest. What's my ideal chest right now? Beyond just like, you know, Polyphemus. Um, Cricket's body would be awesome, and uh, money equals power. If we can get those two, I'm over the moon. Nope, but okay. Yeah, Pisces is okay. Dead Sea Scrolls, Sissy Long Legs, Hot Bombs, and um, Dead Sea Scrolls. Did I say Dead Sea Scrolls? The other, the other one was Pisces. Um, Pisces is okay. Sort of. It's tears up, knock back up, but the knock back is not going to be relevant, so it's just basically a tears up. I think it maybe also really improved the size of our hitbox on our tears, which is worth a lot in a situation like this. Uh, hot bombs is not really that valuable, but it's five extra bombs, and might might allow us to get out of a tight spot, depending on you know what kind of enemies we're fighting on. On certain particular rooms, it'll be a pretty nice counter, but apart from that, it's a little weak. And now I gotta worry about our HP a little bit, but uh, it's going okay right now. We take a hit now and then. We could easily beat Blue Baby only getting hit once or twice, so... And possibly zero times, but I'd, I'd rather not put that um, that curse on myself to say that... Like, I'd rather not give myself what is a relatively tall order there. Um, let's just make sure the most important thing is that we actually finish this run and hit the space bar so we don't have to redo the entire chest again. Okay, uh, let's teleport. We are pretty far away from our boss fight, seemingly. I will admit, hot bombs, it, it struck me that, uh, they might be good against Gertie Jr., but now I'm like, ah, maybe we don't need to put it down. Okay, um... Uh, we got two items. One is Skinny Odd Mushrooms, which is actually awesome. Not Skinny Odd Mushroom. Skinny Odd Mushroom. It's great for us. A damage downgrade, but a, a disproportionate uh, tears upgrade, which is more than worth it. We can go back and get our Spirit Heart. We can teleport again. And honestly, the more rooms we do, the better it is for us to teleport. Because uh, we're more likely to teleport, as time goes on, into a room we've already done. Uh, on, or we're likely to teleport into a room we haven't done, which by definition will be closer to the boss fight. So... Um, I, I think that this is a smart decision for us right now. Keep our HP as high as possible. There is a Spirit Heart back here for us to pick up because of our use of the Crystal Ball. Very strange run, but I had a good time making it work. And you know what? I'm glad I stuck to my guns and uh, didn't just leave the broken remote behind because it hasn't really made our run that much easier. In fact, it's probably a net increase in difficulty as, as far as it goes and probably increase in damage taken as well. But it was it was fun to get a it was fun to get a little uh, preview of it or a little um, a little taste of what might make this synergy kind of hilarious even though it was actually mostly probably kind of bad. No, we still want broken remote. I have a weird sense of loyalty to items sometimes. I'm gonna keep this item for now because it got us to where we are today. You know, it's like you go to college, maybe you've had that weird friend in high school, and then you're like, I got cooler friends now. I don't need you. Nah, man, that kid. I hate the logic that like, that kid's gonna be a millionaire someday, you should be friends with him. But, you know, that kid's gonna be a millionaire someday, you should be friends with him. Also, he might just be a cool dude. You know, right now you might be like, he's not, oh, girls don't like him because he talks about semiconductors all the time. You know what? When you reach your uh, late 20s, early 30s, people are gonna be all over that fucking semiconductor shit. He's gonna be the next Elon Musk. 
Don't you want to be friends with Elon Musk? Millionaire or not millionaire? Oh, what do we got here? Millionaire or chimillionaire? Uh, obviously the magician does nothing for us here. This is a, a very fast finish to this run, which was a little surprising to me. But I'm happy with it nonetheless. What an, what an interesting run. What a terrific audience as well. Um, we're gonna throw some occasional hot bombs in here. Basically, if we get explosion damage, I consider this a plus. Uh, then, if we can just get Blue Baby to move into the fire at any point, this is a huge win. But even just some damage from the explosions, I'll take as a, I'll take that as a benefit. If we ever get him to, to stand in the fire, he will die now. But he's dead anyway, so no big deal. All right, fun run. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.